Tom Mackley, chef at Moby Dick Brewing Company. When I came out here a year ago, I went on a road trip, and so many of the breweries were serving the same type of food. You didn't see a whole lot of the local flavor on the menu. If we're starting this brew pub in New Bedford, and the idea is that we're creating jobs in New Bedford, we're creating a, a cool gathering place for people, the local people, um, that we should try to feature some of the local foods from the fishermen, from the different producers, because the ultimate goal is to kind of support New Bedford from the coffee that we serve, which is roasted locally, to the, um, the fish that we get, which is caught right down out in the, in the local waters. We get our linguisa about a quarter mile down the road. All the people who produce your food are some of the hardest working people in the communities, whether it's uh, working on a scallop boat, you know, 14 hour, 16 hour shifts or the farmers who are working out in the fields on their knees, pulling crops, you know. We get the easy part in being chefs because all the work, the hard work's done for us. The difficult part is getting all of these people's food on our menu. Part of the reason why we're doing a, a menu that changes often is so that we can always be able to accommodate those new items. If we're buying from the small farmers, they're able to expand their properties, maybe put in some fun new crops for us. A lot of them have been really cool about being approachable about that sort of thing. So I could ask them for a certain varietal of, of pepper or tomatoes, and they've been super willing to do that. It's a very difficult job and underappreciated. It's obviously a very important job in this uh, community and in this time to produce the food that we eat on a daily basis. 